everybody. Let's say I have a real cheap power supply that has the four diode treatment on the rectification stage where your AC comes in and gets rectified to DC. This power supply has the four diode treatment versus the rectifier bridge. And let's say you don't like that and you want to have something better. Such as the rectifier bridge. I'm going to show you guys how to go about doing this modification. Basically, first thing you have to do is take out your four diodes. And then you would go to install this. Now basically, you can kind of tell this this um, little guy here was actually pulled from a power supply that um, was silk screened for the four diode treatment but had this installed instead. Now if you look carefully at the rectifier bridge, you can see some symbols here. And I have another one over here somewhere. Yep, it's right over here. To also show you. Now almost all of these rectifier bridges are about the same. You have some that actually sit differently than this. But um, basically, you can see the two squiggles here. That means AC current. This one just simply has AC on it. And the plus and minus it means DC polarity. So your AC comes in through here and it gets rectified to DC. And the positive flow comes out of here and the negative flow goes into here. It's basically the way it works. Now this one's kind of backwards. But if you look at the way the um, if you look at the shape of the um, component itself, you can clearly see how there's a you know there's a slot on the side over here, and generally that slot is the side where the positive flow is for your DC. So basically, like I said, if I was going to install this four amp bridge rectifier. On this power supply, it would look like, you know, kind of like something like this. Because if you look carefully, basically, you have to look at the direction of the diodes. You have to look at the direction of the foremost diode on the right and the direction of the foremost diode on the left. You see the little gray on the end, that's the polarity of the diode. Basically diodes, what they do is they allow current to flow one way, but they block current flow trying to flow the other way. And that's how these guys can rectify AC to DC. And basically, um, the um, your AC comes in through here on the center. If you look at the bottom PCB, I can show you better. Um, this side here is DC, this side here is AC. And as you can see, AC comes into here and into here. So basically your rectifier bridge would look something, you know, like this. The two center legs would connect to the AC side over here, and the two outer legs would connect to the DC side over here. And to be honest, you know, it took me a while to figure this out, but it's so it's something so simple. I wish I'd have done it on many power supplies I have modified in the past. Because I have a number I have a I have a bunch of these bridge rectifiers pulled out of power supplies. Definitely waiting to be used. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install that bridge rectifier to this power supply and show you how it looks when it's done. Now, I may not install this particular one, I may install a different one, but anyways, you'll get to see the end result. Okay everybody, I just got this bridge rectifier installed and this is how it looks. It's actually a different rectifier. I decided to use a different bridge rectifier. Um, it's also, I believe, a 4 amp. And you can, as you can see, I got the legs bent properly. The front ones are AC and the side ones are DC output. So that's what the final product looks like. It can be a little tricky getting those legs bent around just right, but always just take your time at it. And, but you generally, once you, as long as you take your time with it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem getting it in there. So, anyways, that's how you can install a bridge rectifier on a cheaper end power supply such as this one here. 
So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.